بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس السلام علیکم اینڈ ویلکم ٹو دا انگلش کلاس روم آئی ایم یور ٹیچر انو شاز اسٹوڈینٹس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ریڈ سم تھنگ ویری انٹرسٹنگ سم تھنگ ویری امپارٹنٹ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ریڈ اے شا اسٹوری ریٹن بائی a very famous American writer, Floyd Dell. The title of the Shah's story is The Blanket. Students, this Shah's story was written in the year 1925. And the same year, it was published in the literary magazine Colliers. Colliers, name of the magazine, C O L L. I, E, R, apostrophe, and S, Colliers. Very famous literary magazine in which this short story was published, The Blanket. Students, Floyd Dell, as a creative writer, was basically a novelist and a dramatist. He wrote dozens of novels and dramas. He wrote a few short stories. And this short story that we are going to read today is one of them. However, this short story brought him a lot of fame, a lot of popularity. The main reason for the popularity, for the fame of this story is its theme, is its message. Because its theme, its message is universal. Students, what is universal? When does a piece of art, a piece of writing becomes universal? A piece of art, a piece of writing becomes universal when it is not limited to any time, it is not limited to any place. So is the case with our short story, The Blanket. It is not limited now to only America where this story was produced. And this story is not limited to any time. This story was written a hundred years ago. And you see, today, after a hundred years, we are discussing this short story. So it is a universal piece has been produced by Floyd Tell. So students, it is something very important, something very significant, something very interesting. I hope you will enjoy it. And I also want you to pay your full attention to this story. So let's start the story. In this lecture, I am not reading the text. We are not, we are not reading the story. We are just having an introduction of the story. I have divided this in introduction into seven, uh, into five sections. Into five sections. I have divided the story into five sections. Five very brief sections just for your convenience. Just for your convenience, I have divided the introduction into five sections. Which are those five sections? First of all, we will discuss about the author, the uh, author Floyd Tell. Secondly, I will tell you about the characters of the story. Then, we will discuss the setting of the story. Then, very interestingly, very impor importantly, we will discuss some important objects in the story. And finally, I will give you the summary of the story. So, there are five sections in this introduction that we are going to discuss today. So, students, we begin with the author, the author Floyd Dell. Before giving you the information about the author, I would like to mention that I have given the information about the author objectively in points. Why? Why I have done this? I have done this because, because you get questions in the paper about the author objectively. You get MCQs. So it is better to give you information about the author objectively so that you could easily memorize it. You could easily remember it. I have given detail about the author Floyd Tell in seven points. So let's start. Which are those seven points? 
Number one. Number one. Complete name. You can be asked in the paper, what is the complete name of Floyd Dell? Floyd James Dell is the complete name. Okay, one thing we have discussed about the author, that is his name, his complete name, that is Floyd James Dell. Number two, date of birth. Date of birth is something we get often, we often get in the paper about the authors. We get uh, the question, we get an MCQ about their date of birth. So here it is, date of birth of James Dell, <coughs> Floyd James Dell, June 28th. 1887 June 28 1887 third one place of birth Pike County Missouri Pike County is the name of a town and Missouri is and the name of a state in America so three things we have discussed about the author his complete name his date of birth and now place of birth Pike County is the name of town and Missouri is the name of state. Occupation. What was the occupation of the author? He was a journalist. Number one, he was a journalist. Journalist. Number two, literary critic. He used to write reviews on literary books. He used to write reviews on literary books. Then he was a novelist very famous novelist and then he was a dramatist as well so he used to uh, work as a journalist literary critic novelist and a dramatist okay now next famous books let's discuss some of his famous books i have chosen one of them one novel one play and then his very famous autobiography so first of all his very famous novel, Moon Cough. Moon Cough. It was his first novel. It was his first novel. And it is the most famous one. The most famous one. Moon Cough novel. Number two, Little Accident, a play, a drama. Well famed. Very popular play. Little Accident. And number three, Homecoming. It is his autobiography, his life sketch written by himself. What is autobiography? Autobiography is the life sketch of a person written by that man himself or herself. Okay, autobiography. So we have discussed his complete name, date of birth, place of birth, occupation, his famous books. And now newspaper he worked for because mainly he was a journalist so in which newspaper he worked three of them we are mentioning here number one the masses it was a revolutionary newspaper it was a revolutionary newspaper produced by the socialist party then the Davenport times and then the Chicago Evening Post. So these are three newspapers in which our writer Floyd Dell worked as a journalist. And finally, about the author, we often get question about the year of death of the author, year uh, of death and the place where uh, he died. We often get such question. So, July 23, 1969. July 23, 1969, the year, the date of his death, and he died in Maryland, name of a state in America, and he is buried in the same state. So this is the information about the author. We have discussed seven important points. You have to remember these seven points for your paper. Okay, next. It's something very interesting, something very interesting, something very colorful that you are going to get here. Characters of the story, which characters have been used in our story, the blanket, 
four characters four major characters only four characters in the story let's discuss number one peter a small boy 11 year old boy peter he is the main character of the story he is the protagonist of the story who is protagonist protagonist is the hero of the story so this little boy is the main character he is playing the main role in the story he is protagonist protagonist is the person who plays the positive main role in the story positive main role in the story protagonist he is the hero 11 year old boy peter number one number two granddad whose granddad peter's granddad Peter's granddad. Peter, Peter loves his granddad very much. So Peter's granddad, granddad is also a significant character in the story. Then dad. Third character, dad. You see in the picture, this man is looking worried. This man is looking confused. Yes, in the story we will see he is puzzled, he is confused, he is sad. We will discuss in the story why it is happening so. So, another character, dad. And finally, the fourth character, girl, a girl, a pretty young girl. Who is this young girl? Peter's dad is going to marry this young girl. So, it is another main character. We can say she is antagonist of the story. Who is antagonist? Negative main character. Villain. We can say the villain. So Peter is playing the role of a protagonist and girl is playing the role of an antagonist. So four major characters in the story. Peter the boy, his granddad, his father and the girl. Peter's father is attending to marry. Not marrying, attending to marry. Okay, four characters in the story. Let's move to the next one. Setting of the story. What is setting? Whenever we use the word setting, there are two things that should come into our mind. Two things that should come to our mind. Which are those two things? Number one, time. Number two, place. Whenever we talk about setting, it means we are talking about time we are talking about place so when this story is happening when this story is taking place and where this story is taking place we discuss in the setting these two things okay setting of the story the blanket it is a september night it is a september night so the time the time we are being told here the time september the month of september night time most of the events in the story take place in the garden or lawn of the house located around the forest peter's house peter's father's house the setting of the story the whole the whole action will take place in this house the whole action will take place in this house. Yes, in the first two paragraphs, we will see that the action is there in the kitchen of the house. In the first two paragraphs. But after that, we will see that the whole action is happening in the lawn or in the garden of the house. So, it is the setting. Okay, next one. Important objects in the story yes important objects in the story there are three important objects in the story that are playing very significant role in the story very significant one the first one is the blanket that is also the title of the story the blanket it is very significant it is symbolic as well when we read when we will read the story we will discuss how symbolic how important how significant is the blanket in this story so the first important first major object in the story is the blanket number two the harmonica what is harmonica it is a mouth organ 
a musical instrument, a mouth organ. So, this is also important in the story. The old man, granddad, Peter's granddad plays harmonica in the story. It is also important. Next one, the scissors. Yes, the scissors. Important role. We are not discussing here. When we will read the story, we will discuss how these three objects are important in the story. So, students, we have discussed some important things about the story. We have discussed about the author. We have given information about the author. Then we have discussed the characters of the story. There are four major characters in the story. Then we have discussed the setting of the story, where the story is taking place, when the story is taking place, setting of the story. Then some important objects in the story. Okay, now to end with, let us have a brief summary of the story. Brief summary of the story. The story is about an 11 year old boy, Peter. The story is about an 11 year old boy, Peter, whose father is sending his grandfather to the old house. Who is sending? Whom he is sending to the old, uh, old house? It is Peter's father who is sending his own father, Peter's granddad, to the old house. Yes. And why he is doing so? Why he is doing so? Because he is going to remarry a young girl. Who is going to marry? Peter's father is going to marry. Peter's own mother is dead. She is no more. So Peter's father is attending to marry a young girl. The girl does not want the old man stay at home. It is the conflict. The conflict arises here. The conflict in the story arises here. The, the girl does not want the old man stay at home. What happens then? Peter makes his father realize his mistake. Peter makes his father realize his mistake. Why are you sending your father to the old house only because of a young girl? No, you should not do it. How Peter uh, convinced his father? How Peter motivated his father? How Peter changed the mind of his father to do this act? We will see in the story. We are just having a brief summary here. Resultantly, the girl leaves the house and the old man stays. Resultantly, the girl leaves the house and the old man stays. So, the story ends on a happy note. It is something happy that the old man stays in the house. So, it is the story that we are going to read. We have just discussed the introduction. In the, in the next lecture, second and third lecture, we will start the story and we will read it in detail. We will discuss all the possible, all the possible aspects of the story. Students, before I conclude my today's lecture, I would like to share something very important with you. Federal Board of Intermediate and Secondary Education has changed the first year English. Yes, Federal Board of Intermediate and Secondary Education has changed the first year English. I have brought the book for you. It is the title of the new book. It is the title of the new book. This book has been published by KPK Textbook Board. The previous book was also published by them, but, but they have renewed this book. Uh, this year and Federal Board of Intermediate and Secondary Education have given a notification uh, about the new book. So stud students, you have to buy the new book. So it was something very important I wanted to share. Okay, beta, take care. Allah Hafiz.